What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install uh, ELS for LSPDFR. And uh, with that I will also demonstrate how to install a custom ELS car using OpenIV. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to leave a like if this helped you out and if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now let's get straight into this gonna go on Google here we're gonna go to LSPDFR click on their home page <clears throat> once you get here you're gonna click on downloads all right we're going to search ELS in the search bar Now I will leave a link to this in the description for you. So once you find ELS 1.5, you're going to want to click download, agree and download. You're going to want to download ELS version 1.05. It's going to take you through the verification process again. Okay, wait for this to install. Alright. From here, you're going to get out of Google. We're going to go to... <coughs> for you guys, it's uh, this PC. Local disk. Program files, x86. Steam. Steam apps. For me, I'm just going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, like that. Okay. Now we're going to open up ELS. We're going to click on Installation, the middle one, Installation Files, Grand Theft Auto. We're going to highlight everything. Then we're going to drag and drop it all in here. Now, from here, uh, you're going to have a folder called ELS. Once you go with ELS, you're going to go to pack default. And every single time you download a ELS vehicle, uh, it's going to have something called the VCF file. And you're going to want to place it in pack underscore default. Now, let's get started with installing a custom vehicle. I'm going to find one real quick. So, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have your uh, ELS vehicle installed, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have OpenIV installed. You're going to launch OpenIV. Wait for it to load. Hopefully there's no updates. Okay. Click on Windows. Wait for that to load. Almost there. Okay. So once we're in here, first things first, you want to go to mode, click yes, and then you want to go gonna go to ASI Manager. Click install on all of them. It'll take probably one second. Uh, when you install OpenIV.ASI, it'll ask you if you want to create a mods folder. Press yes. Press install again. Okay. Now once all of that is done. You're going to want to click on the uh, vehicle that you downloaded. It can be any vehicle. It doesn't have to be the one I installed. Um, and you're going to want to check. This one doesn't have an instructions actually. So let me, let me go back and see if uh, it's in the uh, home page. I want to see where you put this. It doesn't actually say. It's odd. Um... Okay, but either way, you're going to want to follow the readme that is usually included on the download page here or in the uh, file that the car comes in. So as you can see, you have three of these files right here, and then you have this. This is a VCF right here. This is the thing that you will put 
in ELS pack underscore default. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do is, uh, I'm just going to assume for this vehicle that it's gonna be the most recent patch. So let's see. I'm looking for here we go. Okay. But again, guys, follow along with what the README says. It's different for every car, but a lot of them just say, go with your most recent patch day, which for me is 20 NG. So what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is go to patch day 20 NG, click on DLC RPF. We're going to click common, not common, sorry. X64 levels, GTA 5, vehicles.rpf. From here, we're going to select these three files right here. We're going to drag and drop them in. And then we're going to put the VCF file in here. Since uh, it's a police VCF and we already have them, we're going to click replace the file in the destination. And there we go. Now we will go to um, GTA 5 and I will demonstrate how everything works. Okay, so my Grand Theft Auto currently is not working. I don't know why. I will try and resolve the issue. But basically, that is all you need to know. Um, you are going to want to launch the ELS through Rage Plugin Hook. It isn't technically a plugin that's loaded through Rage Plugin Hook, but you really should launch it through Rage Plugin Hook. Uh, there's really not much to know about it. When you get in, you can press J three times to turn on all your lights. Uh, you can, um, press K to turn on, I think it's backlights. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to have a panel to change your light pattern, you can press Alt P. It's either Alt P or Control P. Try both of those. And then you can press stuff like U, I, and O to change the, uh, the lighting pattern. But, um... <clears throat> That is basically it for the video. Uh, tomorrow, I will most likely be making a tutorial video on uh, sirens, maybe, guns. Don't know yet. I'm, I'm thinking it over. Uh, and then maybe after I'm done with all the tutorial videos that are important to people, uh, I'll, I'll, I might do an LSPDFR series. We'll see. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped you out and I hope you guys have a lot of fun using this mod because it's a great mod and it enhances LSPDFR so much rather than just the default cars and the default lights. There are such things as non-ELS custom police cars but they don't look as realistic in my opinion. So uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to, the video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And uh, yeah, peace out, hombres.